What up, CT? I'm Jenna. I'm Jessica. And we're from CT Ain't So Bad. And we're going to be bringing you the baddest, raddest, hottest shiz going on in our wonderful state called Three in, in CT. CT. So that you can feel like a tourist in your own state. And if we're missing anything, you got to let us know. So check it out. www.ctaintsobad.com what up, CT? This is CT Ain't So Bad doing the fourth episode of 3 and CT. We are at Dunkin' Donuts Park for the Yard Goats game. We're so excited. So excited. We have a lot to bring you, but um, first, we need to go meet the president of the Yard Goats, Tim Restle, out in right field. So, uh, yeah, what are you waiting for? Let's go. So we have the pleasure of being with Tim Restle, president of Yard Goats. We're over at Dunkin' Donuts Park. He's going to tell us why they are the number one park in the country. So besides all the fun that you get to come at a ballpark and enjoy the game, and we really view the ballpark as Connecticut's largest restaurant. So whether you have a gluten allergy or you're trying to be healthy, we have those options. And then if you want to be on the extreme side, we have some extreme food. So our fan favorite from last year, which is the BLT DD. This right here. <laughs> it is a BLT with maple glazed mayo. And it is between two glazed donuts. It's a good thing you have a big mouth. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> Jessica and I have eaten all over Connecticut, if you can't tell by our pants size. So, what's your favorite thing about being in Hartford? You know what? The ballpark is a stone throws away, let's say a pop fly away from downtown. <laughs> People can park, they can eat, they can walk over to the ballpark and have a great time in downtown Hartford. We are definitely glad that you guys are here. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about what you did when you went to Relic without me? Relic Brewing Company over in Plainville, Connecticut now has a whiskey bar. I said whiskey bar. We're rocking their beers right here. You can go over there and chat with owner and founder Mark Sigmund and co-founder Christine D'Angelo about the bottles that they've got over there and it is drunk. ridiculous. So uh, let's tee it up, roll the tape. What's up, CT? This is Jenna from CT Ain't So Bad and we are featuring Relic Brewery today. We've got Mark Sigmund, owner, and head brewer, and we've got co-founder Christine D'Angelo. What's up, guys? Hi, Tina. How you doing? Awesome to have you. We're so excited to be here today because, uh, as you guys were telling us, and you had us down special today, because you've now opened a whiskey tasting room, whiskey bar, however you want to say it. You've just got a lot of whiskey over here. And I'm going to throw the mic over to Mark so that he can tell us a little bit about it. We decided what could we do to be different and what could we do to um, that would be fun for people and I had like a big uh, interest and hobby in whiskeys so we were like well we'll add whiskeys and what we do is we do flights and like little half ounce pours so it's really about like tasting and education and um, well, we just kept adding more and more and more, and it took a while, but eventually we basically collected something like at least 600 different whiskeys. We also added like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other spirits from aged rums and tequilas and mezcal and um, gins, so we kept trying them on people and everyone was really excited about it and a lot of the stuff is super rare and some of it's super expensive but worth it but not all of it most of the pours range actually from 275 to like maybe five or six dollars and you can really get like a generous half ounce and really kind of understand what the whiskey tastes like. So for this edition of 3 and CT, when we're featuring Relic Brewery, you gotta get over here to Plainville, Connecticut, try some of their whiskeys, obviously try some of their beers. We're here on the set today with Jose, uh, part of the DNA shop, and um, we love him. He made our shirts, and they are dope as hell. We make a lot of concepts come to life. Sometimes people have no idea what they want when they come to us, they just know they wanna get apparel printed to either resell, or for an event and we help people from concept to creation like in the case of CT so bad like yeah, awesome. they had a general idea you know we met like uh, but there was no artwork yet so this is all the original artwork we created for a specific client that had something in mind and it came to fruition. One of our specialties is Hartford apparel uh, we have a lot of Hartford based stuff but more like in an actual organic Hartford style, mm -hmm. you know, something modern. We don't want to do a vintage looking stuff because that's not what Hartford is anymore. Why did you start business in the Hartford area? 
I came up through the Hartford system. I went to school in Hartford from kindergarten through high school. You know, I even graduated Buckley High School, so I, I wanted to capture something in Hartford, do something that was based in Hartford organically. This is New York, it is in Boston, like we have our own flavor here, we have our own style here, so yep. that's what we want to show the world. So we definitely just want to thank you for coming and hanging out and chatting with us and obviously we want to thank you for making our shirts. Yep. We are super in love with them and oh my we God, yeah. to see everybody in Hartford wearing one. I enjoyed it and uh, I'm happy to be involved in the awesome. CT Ain't So Bad. It's, yeah, it's yeah, true, yeah. CT Ain't So Bad. Well, thanks for joining us for 3 and CT. Keep your eye out, we're going to be bringing you so much more.